Coming up today on The Link, an interview with Dr. Ganai, Dean Russell, and the China delegation from West Georgia Technical College, an interview with Linda Wilder of Health South, an interview with Gina Snyder, City of Noonan, and of course, our pet of the week, a dog named Lucky. Stay tuned. Welcome to The Link. I'm Mark Whitlock. And I'm Elise Cartledge. Thank you for tuning in. Elise, thanks for being here with us today. Thank Lana you. is out for a few days, and we appreciate you pinch hitting for her. I am happy to do it. Happy to be here. Great, great. Elise, we've got to, to thank again the Bedford School. They've been a great sponsor for us, yes. and we want to thank them for the great work they do in our community and for sponsoring The Link. Absolutely. Thank you, Bedford School. Uh, today we've got some really interesting interviews. Dr. Nehog and I, Dean Babs Russell, Chef Trisha Vera, and the West Georgia Tech Student Exchange Group going to China. Wow, they're going to China. They're, How exciting. They're going to China. They're going to meet with a couple of technical colleges, one in Beijing, one in Shanghai. We're going to talk about that with them. Lana has interviewed Linda Wilder, who's a regional executive with Health South. They recently had their groundbreaking here. I believe it's their 105th rehab hospital in wow, America. That's amazing. What a track record, right? It, it is a great track record. Uh, they're here finally. It was, took a lot of work to get them uh, to, to uh, the point where they could break mm -hmm. ground and open up. Mm -hmm. We've got an interview with Gina Snyder. Laura's going to uh, talk with Gina about Georgia Cities Week. Always lots of events going that's on. That's always a really exciting week. It, it is. It, a lot of things connected with that. And you know what? We've always got a great pet of the week this week. Oh, I can't wait. A dog named Lucky. Sounds to be Lucky. <laughs> lucky <laughs> sounds, dog. Sounds right. Sounds right. Listen, you stay tuned, and we'll be right back with more of the week. Oscar, hurry! They're watching New Link Digital Cable again. All right. I love it when they channel surf. Ha! <laughs> Good one. A 200-channel ocean of programming. Nice. More movies, more sports, more science, more entertainment. Plus tons of HBO Showtime and stars. A guy could get hooked. That's not funny. Digital cable from New Link. Upgrade today for only $15 more per month. Oh, look. Emerald's cooking seafood. Ooh, hope it's no bunny we know. So you're wondering what's the better deal, cable or the dish? Well, let's see how they size up. The dish has no local office, no ability to provide their own high-speed internet or phone for bundled savings, and can require a two-year contract with hefty early termination fees. Cable, on the other hand, has local offices, its own high-speed internet, and phone services with a lot of great features. New Link, your local connection to the best technology in town. Looking for fast? This European sports car hits 0 to 60 in 2.5 seconds. Price? 1.7 million. Nice. Or the F22 Raptor. Top speed Mach 2. Cost? 142 million. Sweet. Then there's New Link High Speed Internet. With download speeds up to 30 megabits per second, it's perfect for downloading music, sharing pictures, even streaming video. Starting at $19.99 per month for 12 months. Awesome. New Link High Speed Internet. If you're looking for fast, look no further. Welcome back to The Link. We're delighted to have with us on the set of The Link, Dr. Nihal Ganai, Associate Provost, West Georgia Technical College Virtual Campus, and Dean Babs Russell, School of Business and Public Services, West Georgia Technical College. And we're here today to talk about some very important milestones in the life of West Georgia Technical College. Uh, first, Dean Russell, a study abroad experience to China. Yes. Talk exciting. with us about who's going, when they're going, and what they're going to do. We leave April 4th. Okay. Uh, return on April the 12th. We're taking 13 students with us, okay. along with Chef Trisha Vera from the CEC campus. Um, we'll be taking culinary arts students, marketing students, management students, engineering, a nursing student, um, and an associate of science transfer degree in general business student with us. Outstanding. So West Georgia Tech uh, has gone international, but this is not the first 
international part of West Georgia Tech. Dr. Gadai, virtual campus, been up and running, the only technical college in Georgia with a dedicated virtual campus. How many students do we have? How, how fast have we grown? Well, um, the idea of concentrating on online campus actually developed in 2009. Okay. And we had, and at that time we were going through a merger, if you remember, we had uh, somewhere between 1,100 to 1,200 students then. And today we have 2,100 students taking at least one online uh, class yeah. with us. Um, for the virtual learning campus, even though our numbers uh, very minimum 129 students actually declared to be virtual learning campus student there are more students who are taking their courses completely online um, and not, but not necessarily they are saying i am a virtual learning campus student and they don't have to to take courses online right international students <coughs> online uh, well we do have a few we, yeah, uh, yeah. as you may know you know we, we we do not have the setup yet to accept international students but if the students are already here, they have visa. Um, they, we do have some students uh, who are taking uh, online courses as well as they are taking courses at different campuses that we have. Great, great. Dean Russell, the idea of study abroad uh, has been around for a while. West Georgia Tech has gotten into this in a pretty big way recently with study abroad to Ireland, Ireland. Uh, and now to China. Why China? Uh, it gives a great uh, image for students who are in our marketing management programs, particularly of the global environment we're in and the importance of being able to collaborate globally and internationally with other businesses and industries. Um, Second largest economy in the world. Yes. In China. Um, we're visiting two um, vocational technical colleges there that we'll be able to collaborate with and they're going to give us some great opportunities uh, to meet with their administrators, see their students in action. Um, visit in their homes, learn a lot about their culture and their history. It's going to be a great experience for those students to, to return to their career paths and have that experience behind them. Outstanding, outstanding. Dr. Ganai, as we wrap up this segment, Talk with us about the programs that are offered online. Yes, um, we do have six uh, uh, degree programs we offer completely online. Accounting, uh, business administrative technology, uh, business marketing, uh, logistics, and supply chain management, which is our um, brand new program, yeah, yeah. completely online. Fire science technology uh, and, and marketing. And we also have specializations that are uh, very demanded right now in, in today's economy like social media, uh, sports marketing, e-commerce, uh, where students get case studies um, as well as uh, work on the projects that are very applicable to the real uh, work settings. Outstanding. We're going to come back with Chef Tricia Vera, talk a little bit more about study abroad. Dr. Nihal Ganai, Associate Provost, Virtual Campus, West Georgia Technical College. Dean Babers Russell, School of Business and Public Services. West Georgia Technical College. Thanks for being with us on The Link. Thank you very much. You Thank stay you. tuned. The Link will be right back. shopping season, you may want to occasionally check your credit and debit card account to ensure there are no unauthorized transactions on your account. If you find unauthorized transactions, notify your bank and local law enforcement agency immediately. Enjoy your holiday shopping, but be aware of your surroundings. Summer's coming is on. Police are turning up the heat on speeders and safety belt violators this summer. Bringing tickets. Because car crashes are still the number one cause of death for our teens and young adults. Number one. More than half die with safety belts unbuckled. Unbuckled. Cops, cops, cops are writing tickets because safety belts save lives. Safety belts save lives. The heat is on. Click it for ticket. So if you don't click it, expect a ticket.
protect yourself from being a victim, make sure you put your electronic devices in the trunk of your car or out of sight before leaving home. Please enjoy this holiday shopping season, but be aware of your surroundings. The City of Noonan will host Georgia Cities Week April 13th through the 19th. And with us today to give us some more information is Gina Snyder, the Public Information Officer for the City. Thank you for joining us. And it's an exciting time. Cities Week is just right around the corner. What is the theme this year? Thank you so much for having me. It's People, Place, Purpose this year. Perfect. And the city is also going to be having some events that the community can get involved with. First, I want to talk about the matchup game on Facebook. Tell our viewers how they can get involved with that on Facebook. Yeah, we're trying to create some excitement on social media, so it's going to start April 10th. Okay. And it's going to be a series of questions, and they can um, win every day two prizes. We'll have two winners every day until the big open house on the 16th at the Carnegie. And what are some of the prizes that the people can win? Well, it's going to be from our city store, okay. so it's going to be city logoed items blankets, umbrellas, all my goodies yeah. that I'm going to pull out, and then some Main Street money. Great. So make sure you get on Facebook to play the matchup game, and the big event that the city will be hosting will be on that Wednesday at the Carnegie. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, it's going to be at noon on April 16th, and we're going to just basically have an open house where all of our city departments, city boards and commissions are going to come out with their goodies and show citizens what kind of services we provide them and a free lunch and the prizes it's gonna be a good time yeah that'll be a great time for the people to get out ask their questions meet everyone that is involved with the city and like you said a free lunch will be at the Carnegie and the last thing I really want to highlight is we had some local artists that have had some pictures and they're on display at City Hall and they went with the theme for this uh, year's uh, City Week. Uh, talk about some of the artists that y'all have here at City Hall. Every year we hold a um, art contest in all the high schools. Um, this year it's Noonan High School has shined. They have um, won all of our um, the contests. Leah Pris is our winner and they're hanging all month here at the city manager's office and they also get um, main street money they'll get to meet the mayor if they hadn't they're gonna the mayor's gonna go out to noonan high and Great. gonna do a photo out out there after spring break and it's always um, a nice thing for the artists and the students i encourage everyone to come see them at city hall they are talented artists and they're wonderful they did a great job with the theme this year and displaying that we want to thank Gina again for talking with us today and giving us all the information about Georgia Cities Week, April 13th through the 19th. And make sure you go to the Carnegie on Wednesday, April 16th. Um, the citizens can voice their concerns and questions that they have for all of the city personnel. And you get a free lunch. And make sure to stop by City Hall and see all of this wonderful artwork that Noonan High School students have done. And uh, we live in a great city. And thank you, Gina, for everything you do for the city. And uh, thanks for joining us. Thank you. Welcome back to The Link. In our last segment, we talked with Dr. Nihal Ganai and Dean Babs Russell about virtual learning campus and study abroad to China. In this segment, we're going to talk with the program chair for culinary arts at West Georgia Technical College in the School of Business and Public Services, Chef Tricia Vera. Chef, welcome. Thank you. Chef, you're going to be a part of the delegation in the study abroad to China. Where, where are you going in China? Um, we're traveling to Beijing and we're seeing, we're doing the tourist attractions while we're there. We have a very full agenda um, and we're going to visit two, we're going to visit two technical colleges while we're there and the one in Beijing has a culinary arts program um, where the culinary arts students will be able to work alongside the Chinese um, culinary students in the kitchen. They're going to have a walk demonstration. They're going to learn how to do traditional dumplings. Um, while the other students are making a Peking mask. Yeah. And then we're having lunch at the school that is being done by the culinary arts students. Outstanding, outstanding. So in the second largest economy in the world, China, you're going to be uh, helping your students to understand that cultural business exchange. You're also, I think, going to be helping them understand uh, what it is that they need to know. 
about well, international business today. Well, yeah, and also it's, you know, we can always teach international classes here, but in theory because a lot, you know, there's going to be some subjects that we're not really 100% familiar with. Okay. Students are going to learn actual techniques, actual products that they're using. Um, we design, when we go to China, we offer gifts. It's a tradition. Mm -hmm. um, one of our students, Samantha Heydrich, and myself made a cookbook on Southern staples for them to understand what we do here in Georgia, which is different from what they have there in China. Right. And it's going to be something that is going to be a conversation piece that they'll keep forever with West Georgia Technical College. Absolutely, absolutely. Why is it important and what, what do you want your students to get out of this study abroad? Well, with the students, all the students that are going, is just the cultural differences, okay. traditions that are observed by different um, countries is very important, and it's just a thing of so that they have it in their resume. I went to China. I, I learned what customs are there. We're also traveling to Shanghai, which is the business capital of China, so that way they get to see more of how the businesses are run, the differences in the economy as well as currency, and then the best thing that we have going is the students are blogging while they're there. Okay. So they, um, anyone can follow us through the virtual campus. Um, and students, as well as myself, will be blogging about their experiences and we're going to be uploading pictures so that everyone knows what we're doing so they're part of our extended family. Great. So we can follow you at www.westgatech.edu slash VLC and look for the VLC virtual learning campus yep. blog. And we have all of our students, all 13 students will be blogging Great. as well as probably most of us, uh, the faculty that's going. Chef, as we, as we wrap up our segment with you today, can you uh, tell us who's with us today? Uh, we're going we're gonna to see them on camera. Who's with us today? Who's going to China? Well, we have um, three culinary students that are okay. here today, and it's Sam, Jatavier, and Natalie. And then we have two other students, which is Sebastian and Joey, that are all here present today that is going with us. And all of us are from the Coeta campus. Okay. All right. Chef, uh, we're going to wrap up this segment. We wish you well in the study abroad. Uh, thank you for bringing your own international background to what you teach students at West Georgia Technical College. And we look forward to hearing about the trip when you get back. You stay tuned. We're glad that Chef Tricia Vera from West Georgia Technical College has been with us. The link will return. In 1948, cable television originated as a community antenna erected high on a mountaintop for better TV reception. By 1962, the number of cable television companies in America grew to over 800. Ten years later, the first pay TV network was launched, and the rest is history. Cable's steady growth and innovation changed the way we watch TV forever. Change the way you watch TV forever with digital cable TV from New Link and get tons of HD channels and access to free video on demand. Call today. Looking for fast? This European sports car hits 0 to 60 in 2.5 seconds. Price? 1.7 million. Nice! Or the F-22 Raptor. Top speed Mach 2. Cost? 142 million. Sweet! Then there's New Link High Speed Internet. With download speeds up to 30 megabits per second, it's perfect for downloading music, sharing pictures, even streaming video. Starting at $19.99 per month for 12 months. Awesome! New Link High Speed Internet. If you're looking for fast, look no further. Terry said Health, Health South is the largest rehab owner and operator in the United States. Anything else would be physical rehabilitation for those folks, as several of the speakers have said, have suffered a major life altering event.
I'm at the groundbreaking for Health South, the new rehabilitation facility that's going to be open in 2014 off of the bypass across from the Noonan Hospital in Noonan. And I'm here with Linda Wilder, who's the regional president of the Southeast. Is that correct title? That is right, Linda. That is right. We're delighted to be here today. We've been working on this for a long time and so pleased to be here and serve the community. We are so excited to have you here because it's my understanding you are the only inpatient hospital that does rehabilitation in the nation. Is that right? Well, we are we are a specialty company mm -hmm. that provides only physical rehabilitation. Our company has 105 rehab hospitals that specialize with patients who have had stroke or brain injury or spinal cord injury or a major traumatic injury. We actually serve 21% of the patients in the United States who receive inpatient rehabilitation care are at one of our hospitals. And we think we're very proud of that. We also know that's a great deal of privilege and a responsibility to do that as well. So, Well, I think this really helps to complete the medical mecca that's, that is now going to be Noonan and Coweta County because we have, you know, Piedmont Noonan Hospital, Cancer Treatment Centers of America, you all, everybody's coming together and it's going to serve this area so well. Uh, agreed, agreed. And when we looked at the Noonan area in Coweta County, we felt like it was very underserved for our specialty. There's nobody else that does an inpatient physical rehabilitation hospital and then when we looked around and saw the quality of the other health care right. providers and the diversity it will really be a nice continuum and completion for that and a great service what a great what a great place to be a citizen and live exactly it's really nice to live here it is now how many um, employees will you start out with when you open at the end of 2014 at the end of 2014 we'll probably have about 80 employees and they're good jobs. Uh, our benefits are good, our longevity is good, our continuing education programs mm -hmm. that we provide for our clinicians and for our employees are very good. After the hospital is fully operational and our census grows, we'll start out a little bit slow, mm -hmm. get our feet under sure. us. Uh, we'll probably employ about 125 to 150 employees. Now you'll have 50 in-bed rooms, yes. is that right? Yes, yes, 50, 50 beds and it will be all private rooms. Our rooms will be a little bit different than the traditional acute care hospital and then in addition to the hospital rooms there's a large gym a lot of what we do is physical exercise there's a lot of equipment that's very specialized for our industry and so uh, there will be a large gym there that will accommodate the specialized equipment to help people get from a very dependent state and physically most of our patients are pretty much immobile right. by the time that when they first come to us and then uh, they're pretty mobile when they leave they surprise themselves at how much progress they make you know it's so encouraging to see someone that's had a traumatic injury and comes to a facility like this and walks out a new person when they had no hope when they walked in. You are right. You are right. And the response from the family as well as the patient is, is pretty remarkable. And the staff develops a long-term relationship with those mm -hmm. patients. Our patients stay with us about 12 to 14 days, so it's much longer than it is mm -hmm. in the traditional acute care hospital. And during that time, as you work that closely with an individual that's gone through that kind of crisis, mm -hmm you develop a wonderful oh. relationship with them and there's a lasting bond that when we have our patient reunions and they come back it's a real celebration uh, to see them return to a quality life and yes. continue to advance as they go home. right that is so nice well I won't take up any more of your time thank you so much for coming to this community and giving us what Health South is going to give us and I'm gonna go over and sign the beam I think we should both do that and okay. thank you for the warm welcome for the community it's been great well we're glad to have you here thanks thank Linda. you There's always great things going on around the city. Here's Cynthia to tell us more about it. Thank you, Elise. Hello there. This is Cynthia Esquivel with the Community Calendar. Let's all come out and join the 5K Rainbow Run and Family Fun Day at the Coweta Fairgrounds in support to Abby's Angels Foundation, Saturday, April 19th from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. The 5K Run is $30 and will be followed by rides, games, music, and food. You don't want to miss it. It's bound to be loads of fun. Coweta's Dancing Stars at the Center for Performing and Visual Arts is something you do not want to miss. The competition is getting in intense and the performances are certain to be memorable. 
without a doubt, let Tuesday, April 15th at 7 p.m. be reserved on your calendar. Pro Proceeds from the evening benefit the Community Welcome House in Union. Tickets range from $10 to $20. For more information, please visit www.communitywelcomehouse.org slash dancing. Come out to the Spring Shop Hop Open House in downtown Sonoya Friday, April 11th from 5 to 8 p.m. Downtown merchants and restaurants will provide you with a great evening full of great shopping and dining. Do you like animals and enjoy hay rides? Then the Inn at Serenby is the place to be on Sunday, April 13th and Sunday, April 20th from 1 to 2 p.m. An animal feed and hay ride will be offered at only $5 per person for adults and children. Reserve your spot today at 770-463-2610. Now to our pet of the week, a dog named Lucky. Hey guys in the studio, Jeanette, Anne, and Christina here with Lucky. He is one lucky dog, I tell you what, to be surrounded by all these ladies. But he is here at Animal Control just waiting to be adopted. He is an A10, he's about two years old. Now they have him listed as a lab retriever mix, but we're thinking more like Bernice Mountain Dog, something like that, a mix of that sort. But either way, we know that he is a wonderful, wonderful dog, very sweet, has a beautiful coat, and is just a very handsome boy. So he's down at here at Animal Control just waiting for his forever home. So back to you guys in the studio. Thanks for tuning in today. We had some great interviews. I enjoyed talking with Dr. Ganai, Dean Russell, Chef Vera. Yes, very and, good. And see the student exchange group going to China from West Georgia Technical College. What an Technical exciting College. time for them. It really is. Uh, it's a new day, uh, and we've got our Technical College students locally interacting with Chinese students. Is it too late for me to go back to high school, Mark? <laughs> you know what, I think I want to go back. <laughs> no, I'm, it sounds I'm, like a I'm great jealous. experience. I'm jealous. <laughs> Linda Wilder was great. It was good uh, for Lana to get a chance to talk with her as groundbreaking was occurring for Health South's uh, new hospital, new rehab hospital How right exciting here. for Coweta it's to a, have this even come in our, in our county is amazing. You know, becoming more of a health care destination, mm -hmm. this mm -hmm. community is, and Health South continues to add to that track record. That's right. Um, Laura got a chance to talk with Gina Snyder about Georgia Cities Week. That's always a big time here. and certainly Downtown and, and everybody's going to be bustling around. Things happening, things happening at the Carnegie and elsewhere. Mm -hmm. uh, certainly Noonan has a prominent place mm -hmm. in Georgia Cities Week. Absolutely. We're one of the fastest growing cities and very yeah. uh, well known around the state, I know, for, for population growth and exciting things happening. We're, so We really are. Great, vibrant downtown. Great week. Mm -hmm. Vibrant downtown. Uh, we want to thank again the Bedford School. They've been a great sponsor for us. They do some incredible things in our community and we're grateful for them for that yes, sponsorship. Absolutely. Elisa, I want to thank you. Thank you, Mark. It was great. This was so fun. Uh, listen, you've got to come back and be with us again. On the I link. will. I will. Listen, I'll send Lana to the Caribbean and I'll just come and fill in all the time. <laughs> that, that's a deal. That's a deal. <laughs> okay. We'll, we'll make sure she's okay, okay with that. that. I yeah. think she would. I, th <laughs> I think, I think so. she'd be all right with that. Listen, thank you for joining in with us today on The Link. Uh, you stay tuned next week when The Link returns. Thanks. Thank you.